want a good pen, not no pen from Dollar Tree, the one you found in your kitchen cabinet. No, you need a good $2 pen. Hey guys, it's Shavanna from Cash and Curls, and I'm back with another video. Well, this is actually my first video. If you didn't know, September of 2022, I officially launched my very own small business. That's right, your girl is a business owner. Whoop, whoop. Yes, so here at Cash and Curls Printables, I provide visual principle trackers to help you track your progress, reach your goals, and ultimately take control of your finances. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to utilize the On The Road To Freedom chart. If you haven't purchased yours already, be sure to click the link down in my description box to get you a chart. I'm going to show you how to set up your On The Road To Freedom chart. This is just a sidebar, okay? You need to go ahead and invest in a good $2 pen. You're gonna be using this pen to write out all of your numbers. You want a good pen, not no pen from Dollar Tree, the one you found in your kitchen cabinet. No, you need a good $2 pen. I'm gonna go ahead and link the pen that I use down in the description box, okay? Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right to it. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you my debts already listed out. So what you want to do for your on the road to debt freedom chart before you start writing it on the chart, you want to make sure you get an extra piece of paper and you list out all of your debts from your credit report. So for the purpose of this video, I have already written out my debts just to make it go a little bit quicker. So at the time of my debt free journey, I had a pink credit card, which was $207.18. I had a discover credit card, which was $958.88. I had a car payment for $6,499.97, and I had my big student loans for $50,000, for roughly $50,000. So now that we have these, these numbers, we can go ahead and move on to our On the Road to Freedom chart. So before you start listing out all of your debts, you want to be sure to choose your debt repayment plan, okay? For my journey, I use the debt snowball, where I will list all my debts out from smallest to largest, despite the interest rate. For you, you may decide to use the debt avalanche method. And with that method, you will list out all of your debts um, from highest interest rate to lowest interest rate, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my chart for you guys so you can see how I do it. The first thing I'm gonna do is write debt number one, and that was my pink credit card and that was $207.18. I'm going to go ahead and write out my Discover card and that was $958.88. And then I have my car payment, $6,499.97. And lastly, I have my big student loan, and that was for roughly $50,000. So for my debt-free journey, I listed out my debts from smallest to largest. Like I said, I followed the debt snowball. And for my student loans, I did consolidate my student loans into one big student loan. That's why you see $50,000. But for you, you may have multiple student loans. So you may have to continue to list all of your student loans out. I also want to highlight that I did include the exact totals. You want to make sure you include the exact totals because this will help you fill out your debt freedom tracker. So this is what your chart should look like. When you're setting up your chart, you should have your debts, your name of your debts, your totals, and the debt payoff date should be blank. You're gonna leave this column blank until you pay off one of your debts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in just so you guys can see what my debts, well, to see what my debt payoff dates were. So my pink credit card was paid off on 10-6-17. My Discover credit card was paid off on 11-4-17. Uh, My car payment was paid off on January 8th, 2018. And my big student loan was paid off on May 20th, 2022. Okay, 
So that's what it will look like. This is how you fill out your On The Road To Freedom chart. Be sure to let me know if you guys have any questions. Here are just a few pro tips for you guys. So at one, I highly recommend that you get a piece of construction paper or card stock so that your chart can be durable, okay? You're gonna be using these, these charts for years. So you definitely want it to be sturdy. Number two, I definitely recommend that you place your chart somewhere visible somewhere like your bedroom, your office, or your quiet space. You want to be able to see these charts every single day, day and night. So place your chart somewhere visible. Number three, continue to go back and look at your chart and remind yourself daily, this is why I'm working towards financial freedom. So that's all that I have for you guys today. Be sure to check out my next video, how to set up your debt-free tracker. Until next time, I'm rooting for you, and I believe you can live with money. Bye, guys.